my name is Skylar and welcome to my channel. So this is my second time filming this video because first time the air conditioner was really loud. So here I am again. But I just want to do a Squishmallow haul for you guys because I got a bunch this past week. And I'm getting more into the smaller ones because these bigger ones, like you can see, like I have them all above my couch, my futon. So they really take up a lot of space. So I really want to get more into smaller ones because so, then I like I want to have like them all stacked up together so I can have them all in like the same space so I can look at them all in the same area. So this is in no particular order, but this one I got is Esmeralda, the grocery store worker. And you can see I have Esmeralda up here, but just because I work in a grocery store and I worked there for five years, I just felt like this was me if I was a Squishmallow. Like, I love how Esmeralda looks and just the fact that she has this little apron and she's called on the website. Like if you look up a list of Squishmallows, Esmeralda the grocery store worker. And she's one of like the COVID hero ones. Like she came out in July, not saying COVID is over, but like in the peak of COVID in America. So yeah, I, like I guess, see like there's all these, all these hero ones, but this is just side note, but it is really nice because there's like, you know what I mean? Like a doctor, like a nurse and stuff in there. And like, I don't know, I was working a lot during COVID and like it was a little stressful being around so many people and being worried about getting sick every day when I go to work. Kraken, please move. Oh my God, there's my other cat. But yeah, so I love her. So I got this one at the same time and it's Sunny the Bee the queen bee to be more specific i don't like how this looks like she has like a cone head or like a wart kraken please get down kraken ton please 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 kraken you can't no you can't go over there oh my god <laughs> but yeah her pattern is beautiful and it was better when i could show it like my last last time i filmed this it was in natural lighting but she almost is a little bit shiny like I don't know what it is she just is like so smooth and the way she looks it's like she's like golden golden and beautiful beautiful queen so yeah I love her stripes oh, I don't know she's just really neat she's the only insect I have I think yeah no I have the firefly I lied I have yummy but yummy doesn't look like an insect yummy no, looks like a cat I think but there she is. So then this same day, I got these two from Hot Topic. And I would recommend if you have other places around you going to them rather than going just to Hot Topic or Claire's or something. Because a lot, I mean, Claire's has the Claire's exclu uh, exclusive. So I guess it's different, but Hot Topic. And where was the other place I was saying? I don't remember, but yeah hot topic is more overpriced and these two that i got from there i paid 15.90 for them and then i saw them literally the exact same day at fye when i got these two that i just showed but i felt so sad to like return them just for like five more dollars like i don't know that would make me sad <laughs> to part with them so i just kept them but this is violet the octopus and i love her i have Davina yeah Davina like mommy and baby octopus but yeah I love their tentacles so cute does she, wait does she have eight yeah she does have eight okay so it is accurate and her little flower just perfect summer vibes beach vibes everything vibes I love they could just like sit on your head like oh yeah her colors are really neat so super excited to see her and this one I'm super excited about is Aziza the Stingray. And this pattern on the back of hers is really cool looking. It almost like, looks like pebbles or something. But like, I don't know, I just like this is a more d unique design to the Squishmallows. And I know there's a purple Stingray floating around that like everybody's interested in right now. 
but I don't know she's really cute and I like that she's a girl stingray like it says in her description like Aziza blah blah like it says like her you know what I mean but like all the other girl ones have like eyelashes but I thought that was kind of neat that she looks more like a boy but she's a girl and yeah I should mention those two were seven inches and the bee was seven inches so this next one I got also in the same day from Claire's and it's Halisa who I believe is a hamster I hope so because she's so cute I love her little hands like oh my god look at the little hand Ooh. but it's kind of interesting because so it says Squishmallow Claire's exclusive okay but if you go to Claire's they have a bunch of stuff that has this same design on it like there was like a hand sanitizer oh my gosh I wish I would have taken a video while I was there because it was so odd because I was like you would think this is like a squishmallow design but it's all the all this stuff has the same design but this is the only thing that's affiliated with squishmallows so I thought that was kind of odd because I feel like if that stuff was like licensed by squishmallow then people would be a lot more likely to buy it and it's the exact same design as this so I don't know but I love her color she's super vibrant and it doesn't come off as good in camera as it does in person this is like my favorite color this like neon pink coral and they did have bigger ones of her but this was like 10 something and I felt like that was a little expensive so I don't want to get the bigger one all right so let's see next two are from Hot Topic and this is a different day of the same week so the last time I went on like a Tuesday I think and this was on Friday so I got these two on Tuesday and they didn't have any seven inch ones when I went on Friday but they had Mr. Carl the cheeseburger and I love him I love the food ones I don't know why he's got the sesame seeds oh and he's got a little fuzzy on him but that little smile just that could just brighten your whole day but I think his name is Carl because of Carl's Jr so I don't know if that's right but it seems like it should be his name because of Carl's Jr. And I don't eat meat, but I love meatless burgers. So yeah, super excited to see him. He's adorable. And this next one I'm so excited about because when I got Bernardo the burrito, um, I was debating getting this one of the 16 inch, but they only had 16 inches and I only wanted to get one so i was a little sad that i passed up on her but it's cinnamon the frozen yogurt and she's beautiful with the ombre and she's got like these little sprinkles her little straw super cute another five inch one and i just wanted to say that i felt like cinnamon is a weird name for a frozen yogurt because you don't have cinnamon in frozen yogurt usually I don't know and she's pink like this is not cinnamon this is like gives me the impression of like a strawberry frozen yogurt or like vanilla with something fruity in it and I hear that there's like a pumpkin spice one coming out which if I ever see that I definitely will be buying like I'm obsessed with fall stuff literally like right here I have Febreze pumpkin so yeah I don't know I don't drink coffee, but I love the idea of a PSL. So, I don't know, I felt like cinnamon was a really good name for a pumpkin spice latte, because that's like cinnamon flavors, but she's super cute. Next two are, well next three are from Hallmark actually, but two are from one Hallmark and one is from a different Hallmark, I think. I don't know which one's from which Hallmark, Norman's Hallmark. Well, they both say Norman's homework. So, who's to say? But this is Fiodora. She is my first clip. And she is super nice, shiny. She's got like pink and white on her. It looks like a cloud or like sherbet vibes. But 
I really want to get a hanging like a coat rack or something and just hang like a whole bunch of clips off of them the hooks but the clip ones are the hardest ones to find like I hear people saying like it's really hard to get the clips and I would argue that is true because I've only seen her and this collection has it's very because I don't know if you can see but there's two cats that look almost exactly the same and two rainbows that look pretty similar but I've seen this cat the other cat in this collection and the rainbows maybe both of them so yeah but she was $6.99 so I definitely like to add more to my clip but I figure if I can't get a bunch I'm just gonna like clip her onto my purse and then next we have Mr. Charlie which I like to call him a uh, a bulldog even though I don't know that he is a bulldog but I love his eye it just really adds something and there's like the white around his eye I don't know it just makes you think of this is gonna make me sound old but like if anyone remembers the dog from McDonald's toys like they were like a dog with like a little body and a big head and I was obsessed with them like I had all the McDonald's clips they were like clip-ons I had all of those and I had a bunch of toys, like the big size ones. And it just it takes me back to when I had those. And it just makes me think of like my childhood times collecting stuff. And he was $10.99 and he's an eight inch. And when I went to Hallmark, they had him. He was the only one of Charlie though. And they had like Andres, Prince, and another dog that I can't remember his name, but yeah, I just had to have him, he's adorable. And then these last two I'm super excited about because I didn't think I would see the last one that I'm not gonna show you, but I never thought I would see this one. So this one, I never even had heard of, no offense, Winifred, which is also a Claire's exclusive. And her pattern is very unique. Like it's like this orange and green tie dye, which orange and green is already like an interesting color combination. And then you throw on this pink, like she's really different looking. And my boyfriend says she looks like a chameleon, I guess maybe because the little tail and like her back, but I can't really tell what type of lizard she's supposed to be because the other chameleons have like the eyes that are like a little wonky looking. And I don't know, I like her better than the chameleons to be honest, but yeah, Winifred. She's awesome. And again, this is from Claire, so it was like $11 probably. But, my collection. And she's a five inch. This last one, I'm so excited about because I kept seeing on the Squish Alert app people talking about this Squishmallow. And I was like, oh, I'm never gonna see that one. Like people were like talking as if it was rare. And I remember one girl that I saw, I don't, know if it was on the app or if it was on youtube or something in the comments but i remember she said that she put in for this to be made as a squish like she suggested it to the company and then they came out with it so she was like i don't know if like that's related but then she sent them some other ideas she had too like she had the idea for like honestly they're coming out with a dumpling i hear and i believe that was one of the ones she said that she suggested to them so i don't remember who she was though or if it even said it might be anonymous but it is Delita, the dragon fruit, and she's perfect in every way. And yeah, if you look though, it's like, I can't, the other one was not like this, but it just makes me love her more. Like this is if I hold her like, she's like a little like uneven, like her stitching is a little uneven, but that just makes me love her even more. And she looks just like a dragon fruit. Like, literally exactly like a dragon fruit. Like, she's like the most realistic looking Squishmallow in my opinion. And my bearded dragon loves dragon fruit. And I got some for him and they can't eat like too much fruit. So I ate some of the dragon fruit because it was expensive and I didn't want to go to waste. But it was really good. And I just have always loved how they look. Like when the Red Bull Dragon Fruit came out. Red Bull Dragon Fruit. Dragon Fruit Red Bull came out for the summer. I was so excited for that. Like I looked all around for that. And then when I found it, I bought a bunch, but honestly, it wasn't that good. But 
real dragon fruit's pretty good once you get it ripe enough so yeah they were all also on my couch if you can see i have like this little squish mountain here so yeah they will be joining the fam so thank you guys so much for watching i want to make keep making squishmallow videos as i have money to bit to get them but definitely that's why i want to get into like the smaller ones because they are cheaper even though i do love the big ones and if i could just have a whole mountain of them i would be super happy but i definitely want to make some other videos for you guys if you're still watching but because i don't want to be just any one thing on my channel i want to have a variety but yeah, thanks so much for watching.